What's up, yo? Okay. So, talking about habits. So today I created another habit. This. This habit. So the things that are in this bag are extremely important to becoming Kente Claus. Without, did I say bag? I'm tired. All right, the things inside this box are my essentials, okay? And they all mean the world to me, okay? Um, so I developed this ritual today that these very important things will go inside this box, okay? I think this box, I got this box here from my mother's house. I'm at my mom's right now here in Buffalo. And I think my BB gun used to be in this. Anyways, so I'm gonna open the box and show you what's in it. And look how I even folded it. Look how, look how blessed everything is. See? So this is, this is authentic kente cloth, cloth from Ghana. It's actually woven tap, tapestry. And it was a gift to me from brother OG. My connection to Ghana. And he gave me some Ghana. So as I, as I was up there talking about kente cloth, here I am with some authentic kente cloth from Ghana. Next are the gloves. These gloves mean everything to me, more important than anything than my father's gloves. My father was part of some pretty heavy stuff, okay? And one of the things that he did required him to wear these ceremonials, ceremonious gloves. And there was something that I don't know what time I point in my life I found them, but I preserved them. And I believe last year was the first time that I wore these can't take these as can't take claws as gloves. They have holes in it and stuff, so I gotta figure out how to fix that, but these are blessed. And so these don't just go thrown in a bag anywhere. They go into this secret box. And then here it is. The beard. The beard. So the beard is important, right? And you want to make sure it's treated with, you know, respect because you got to wear it again. Fresh off of me chopping it up a little bit today, it's still wet. All of this is still wet. So you can't leave stuff like this wet, right? Like, what does that do? That smells, right? It smells. It's unsanitary. You know, it's not something I don't want to put on. And I go around people and I'm smelling like sweat and stuff. That's not cool. So watch this. See? Look at this. Look at this. You don't even know it's me. Look at that. Confusion. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that. Completely different person. See what I'm saying? Anyway. So I'm going to work on my daughter getting, see if I could put some beeswax, something in here to keep these kind of done. I also need to get, take the extra pieces that I have and I want to glue them around here because people can see this part if my hat's not pulled all the way down. So anyways, so now I have to wash this, man. You know what I mean? Gotta wash this stuff, man. So this is Habits, yo. This is, this part of this documentary is called Habits. And this format of this documentary is inspired by my favorite movie of all time. It's called Pursuit of Happiness. And in that movie, there's different themes, right? He says, like, this part of the movie is called running. This part of the movie is called, um, what else he got? Taking the bus or something like that, you know? So every milestone or chapter in that movie, which is a true movie, which is my life, basically, um has categories. So this category is called habits. And cleaning my costume, I guess you can call it that, is part of habit. So I'm gonna clean this man. You know? And be so happy and so be proud of myself when I put this on and I smell it and it's fresh. And I'm like, you know, I got that because of I created a good habit. That's why I have you know, a pleasant smelling costume because of habits. Otherwise, this would have sat overnight and who knows the condition it would have been in. So now that's gonna dry. Now these also got a little wet, 
Not sure how I want to clean these. I really don't. I'm going to leave that up to my mom. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just try it. Well, they're wet. What's next? What's left? The boots. Now I noticed a scuff on the boots. So I gotta do inventory on that. Make sure they're scuff free. Um, so I'm gonna go get the boots. By the way, I left the boots yesterday at the first gig. Can you believe it? Habits. See, this is habits. If I had a good habit, that wouldn't have happened. Yesterday. Can you imagine? I packed up and left my boots, man. The most important part of my suit. Do you know what my suit would look like without boots? <laughs> forget, forget about it. You'll never know because I'll never wear it without boots. They only give you pants that go basically a passion knee. So I'd have had like shorts on. Um, so anyway, I left them at my gig. And they called me at night and it's like, your boots are here. And so what that did was that made me have to actually meet up with her today. And, and that means I had to make a separate trip to go pick them up. And as after I expressed to her that I'll take it in the bus, she decided to meet me at the station, which was cool because she then was able to sign the gift certificates and give me a ride to the 12. And, you know, she was there to be able to... Um, witness everything and, and and enjoy her business being talked about and um, enjoy people getting her product and being seen so people know that oh that's her and, you know so it ended up turning out really nice so I I really can't say I left them on purpose because I already told you that I left them by accident but it worked out perfectly like I did on purpose I'm getting my boots be right back These are two hundred dollar boots, just so you know. Okay, these are two hundred dollar boots. All right. Now, last year, remember I told you how my last year version I stepped it up. Last year I had what they call boot covers. Okay, so that means you can wear any kind of shoe you want, and then there's this cover that lays over it and gives you this part, right? And this, this gives you this length and gives you this part, and um, they were all right. They were all right. They were, they were so alright that I almost elected to go with them again. But I can't find last year's boot covers, just so you know. Or last year's beard. This is why I had to get a new beard and trim it and customize it to my face. But anyways, so I couldn't even find my boot covers. So here in Buffalo, as I'm looking for boot covers, they're all so whack. I mean, like, horrible, okay? Um, what do they look like? Oh, let me tell you what they do. They give you this, they give you this, but they give you none of this fabric. So it cuts off right here. So basically, there's people walking around in Santa suits with this covering up their, basically their short pants, this part, and then just shoes, like whatever shoe they decide to wear. And this is cut off. So can you imagine the mockery? The blasphemy? Well, when you charge $250 an hour, you can't show up with no boot covers, okay? You got to walk in stomping with boots, official claws boots. Anyways, they look good. The scuff is gone, so that must have been some dirt or something. But anyways, they look good. I'm happy with them. They're sharp. They feel great, by the way. They feel great. Anyway, so now it's the post, right? Post event. You got the content. You got to share it. 
Um, you got to, um, I got to get ready. I got to start promoting for Mon uh, Monday. I'm supposed to, tomorrow. I got a lot to do. I got to put uh, a fly together for our big event on the 17th. I got to secure so much. So tonight I'm going to work on building the spreadsheet so that I can see all the events and all the people involved with the events and I make sure I don't lose track. So this is becoming Kente and it's becoming a headache. God bless.